Hey guys, welcome to Concept and Coding, and this is Shreyansh. And today I'm going to share a very high-level uh, Twitter's recommendation algorithm, which has been shared publicly by the Twitter, right, on their blog. So here is the blog link. You can go ahead and check it out, right. So this is the link, and uh, let's see. I'll try to cover very high level uh, the end-to-end -end part. The very important in this Twitter recommendation algorithm is the candidate source. So candidate source is what uh, through which the tweets are coming as an input to the ranker, right? So for each user, every time it do a refresh, so what it do is like it has, it takes out 1500 most relevant and recent tweets out of millions, right? So this is as per the documentation, right? Out of millions, only 1500 tweets is taken out and how? That's how it's from the candidate source. So you can say that out of these three techniques, which are inside a candidate source, out of millions, 1500 tweets are only as an output, right? It comes as an output and it goes to a ranker. So out of this 1500, 50% is your in network, right? 15% is in network. In network means uh, the users which I directly follow, right, or interacted with, right. So f their tweets might be considered as my in network, right. So 50% tweets are this in network source, and this is out of network, which I don't know, people which I don't know. From there also, feed has been shown to me. So both are 50-50% and it is mentioned that this percentage uh, differs also based upon user to user. Okay, so let's see first in network. So in the in network, what is the aim? Aim is to find the most relevant recent tweet from the users you follow, right? I follow, uh, let's say, uh, 100 of, uh, let's say, users. So their tweets will be shown to me. So that is generally comes under in network source so earlier fan out approach was used i think you know the fan out approach from the messaging queue video right any message comes the fan out is like broadcasting broadcast to all right so earlier fan out approach was used but now recently they mentioned that they have uh, upgraded to real graph model right to find out the most relevant tweets right so how does real graph model works? So see the link which I have given, right? The Twitter blog link, you can, uh, so there are sublinks present to it. So you can go ahead and learn more in depth. There is a proper documentation for real graph model and all, right? So here I am showing the very high level, the summary. Okay, the real graph model. What happened here is, in the real graph model, the first step is it create a graph, right? In this graph, vertices are the users right so i have a vertices users user a user b now an edge should exist and how the edge should exist so there are three ways an edge can be exist from user a to user b first is a follows b right if i followed b an edge can exist another is b is in a's phone or email address book so sometimes you might have noticed right uh, uh, you have certain contact number and when you open a face brands, you can connect and you can see that, right? So that is this thing. If B is in A's phone or email address book, then also an edge can exist. But here they mentioned that you need to give permission first. And also the third is if A interacted with B. Interacted with B means if A have messaged B or if A have retweeted uh, its B tweets and all. So in all these three ways, in both the vertices, an edge can exist. Then what happens is, for each edge, they label it with feature. So it there is a feature. So this feature, what they call is like, it contain an information, how often interaction happened between two vertices. How often and when, right? So it contains many information and one of the information is when and how often interaction happened between two vertices. Right. So once this graph is created, then what it passed through is it passed through is logistic regression model. Right. So 
It's a predictive analytic technique. I think you already know linear regression, right? It is used in prediction. Stock, stock price prediction, uh, weather forecasting, weather forecasting prediction. So there you know that, right? There is a data plotted here, right? So it's a linear regression happen. So it's a continuous. Why it is continuous means so stock and weather prices, uh, stock prices, you don't know. There is no range, right? So it can be a continuous value it, like uh, 7.5, 7.6, 7.7, 99.8. .7, so it's a continuous values and there is no range. But here logistic regression is a predictive analytic technique. Since it's a prediction outcome is generally zero one true false. Yes, no. Right. And its graph is also not kind of a linear form. It is more like a S S shape. Right. So it has a, its own formula to compute this S shape graph. Right. Uh, but generally it tried to solve uh, generally this uh, logistic regression is tried to uh, outcome the answer in zero one. Yes or no. Let's say is a student will pass or not true false based upon the data right so here our aim is that in future what is the probability that these two users a and b will interact right the higher the weight so it try to give a weight right the higher the weight of an edge which we have created here the higher this logistic regression model after this a weight will be given the higher the weight means there is a higher chance that they will interact in future, right? So this is your in network logic through like the users, which directly I follow or interacted with from that itself, I will try to collect the tweets. Second is out of the network, right? This two are now out of the network. This two are out of the network, which is again compromise 50%. Right. So first is social graph. So in the social graph, what happened is it tried to give me an answer of this two questions because this is a very tough, like how Twitter will recommend me, uh, the tweets from user whom I don't even know, whom I never interacted, whom I never seen anywhere. Like how Twitter will get to know that this, his or her tweets will be relevant to me. So it, it tried to answer this two question and then it say that. So people which I follow, so this is me a, so people which I follow. So let's say I follow B, I follow B. So people which I follow, what tweets they engage with. So let's say B is engaging with this many tweets. So first is, that people which I follow, what all tweets they engage with, it might be, I might also be interested in that. So that is one way. Second way is tweets, which you and other user liked. So this is one tweet. I liked it or might be possible that uh, some other user B also liked it. So it tried to see that what else tweets that another user liked. So this has liked this many tweets. So it is possible that this all tweets are also, I might also like. Because see, seems like that we both have the similar taste because we both like this tweet. So it try to see that what all tweet this be like. So it is possible that I may also like those tweets also. So it try to find out this two questions and try to come up with this graph and try to find out the tweets from this one. So one of the uh, algorithm is magic rack. Right. So let's see how this magic rack works. Let's see his definition first. So how this magic rack works is let's say for a two user, we have to uh, find the next recommendation. So what it will do is examine the list, the accounts a two follows, right? And if more than K of them follow an account C two within a period, then C two is recommended to a two. Now let's see the diagram again, right? What as per the uh, definition, what it says that how this magic rack works is let's say for a two, we are trying to find out the next recommendation. So what it says that examine the 
users it follow right so let's say it follows from a2 it follow b1 b2 and out of this users which a2 follows which is let's say b1 b2 and more let's say right if out of this if k users if k users follow let's say c2 let's say k equals to 2 here let's say so a2 fall a2 uh, follows b1 b2 right and k i have set 2 so out of this uh, this set if two of them follows c2 then c2 will be also also recommended to a2 let's say what if k is 1 and this as doesn't exist right let's say k is 1 so what all the accounts which a2 follows a2 follows b1 b2 now k is 1 so out of this set even if k is 1 is set uh, if this many users k equals to 1 so even 1 is followed any another so this is also been recommended to a2 you got it so this is known as magic rack then another is embedding spaces so embedding spaces is what twit and users are similar to my interest now so earlier in the social graph what we have seen is what my the users which i follow what they like now here is what i like what is my interest so similar users who also have the same interest now it has to find out that's why it is called embedding spaces right so what it does is right it is it uses sim cluster so what it does is so it created a communities so it created a communities and map user to each community so let's say this user is belongs to pop community this user is belongs to pop community plus let's say basketball community right and this user belongs to let's say here uh, some cricket community now this community has already has also so many users and all right there could be other users also which belongs to this community right so their tweets their post is very very similar to the interest of this users so that's where it's called embedding spaces where it try to find out the similar interest of a particular user through the help of community right people in the same community share the same interest and that's how it tried to share the uh, top tweets out of it to the user and how it created a community is through sim clusters right so now here if you see that using this three candidate source what it will do is it will gather 1500 tweets through 50% is your end network and the rest 50% is come from your social graph and embedding spaces now this 1500 goes to a ranker this will provide ranking to this 1500 right 1 2 3 2 1500 right it will provide a rank now it goes to the next set of is filtering so there are different set of filters so let's say first filter is visibility so here visibility is like let's say uh, you have blocked certain user right so you don't want to show you don't want to see the tweets from that particular user so it will remove this right another is like author author uh, diversity so if there are so many posts from a particular author then certain tweets might be removed from the same author so that author diversity should be there content balance so there should be proper balance of in network and out of the network tweets so that's why it says the content balance social proof means that out of the network so it it belongs to the out of the network uh, thing like so when you are getting certain uh, tweet from unknown user this is unknown to you so this is you a you follow b and now either b has engaged with this user so 
there should be one mediator like you should like you should follow someone who is as a kind of a mediator which can follow to that guy to it or something but if it is totally if there is no link between the tweet of a person and you then it's like a, you can say that a red flag is like not safe so it remove that and feedback fatigue like uh, here it says that uh, maybe in past you have said that this kind of post you don't like it so it will give it a low priority right so these are the different filtering which happens after this and after that it goes to a mixer so what it will do is now you have uh, the list of tweets after filtered it will now add, mix it with the ads and also who to follow the next recommendation and all and then it ultimately show you the timeline right so this is a very high level which i showed you there is a very very big documentation on it right lot if you are a machine learning guy definitely go through that uh, documentation you will learn a lot this is the link right go through it and uh, yeah share your learning also uh, but this is i really like this like what they have shared there is a github also the, this is uh, most of the code written in java also they have shared so yeah guys so that's it uh, from my side thank you bye